Today we say farewell to the Flinders Ranges as we begin our journey towards Broken Hill. I'd highly recommend going to the Flinders Ranges and if you want somewhere to stay, Rawnsley Park Station is a great option. The car cracked 70,000 kilometres today. We stopped in Oruru for lunch today. The little cafe we found was called Two Farmers Daughters and the food was fantastic. We've got an overnight stop in Peterborough tonight. Can you believe those average temperatures in this part of the world? We took lunch with us today as there's not much between Peterborough and Broken Hill. We're all set up for the next few days. We've got a full moon rising and we've settled in for the evening. We had a trip to the Pro Heart Gallery this afternoon. With a bit of enthusiasm from one member of the group, it was suggested that we sit and watch the Pro Heart video. It went forever. We had a late afternoon visit to the Miners Memorial. Spectacular views of Broken Hill. Janet and Phil's friends Nola and Ross arrived earlier this afternoon. Another terrific sunset, this time in Broken Hill. Today we visited the historic town of Silverton. Silverton sprang up after the discovery of a rich silver deposit, although it was soon to be eclipsed by an even richer silver, lead and zinc ore body at nearby Broken Hill. The town is often referred to as a ghost town, however there remains a small permanent population of about 50 people and mainly tourist related businesses. number of art galleries within the town. Hotel, and you may recognise it if you've seen Razorback, Wake in Fright, The Slim Dusty Movie, Mission Impossible 2, or The Adventures of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. They all use this as a location.
saw the museum devoted to Mad Max 2, the movie. We had a brief stop at the Monday Monday Lookout, which overlooks the seemingly endless Monday Monday Plains. As the day was coming to an end, we headed out to the Living Desert State Park to have a look at the sculptures. 53 tonnes of sandstone were transported from the Wilcania area to the Living Desert State Park. Quite a few people out to capture the glorious sunset. that sunset. I'm so glad we made the time to go up there. Today we headed towards the Menindi Lakes area. Kopi Hollow was our first stop. It was great to see so much water in the lake compared to five years ago when I last visited. The caravan park that we stayed in last time was looking pretty good as was the lake area where the water ski club ski. We drove around some of the other lakes in the area. The old woolshed was great to look at. It's hard to believe it was twice its size in its heyday. There's not much left of the old homestead. Well, it's getting close to the end of this video and I'd like to thank you for watching it. Why not subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. There's so much water in the lake, it's hard to believe most of this was dry last time I was here. A tree with hats, a point of interest in Wikicamps, yes, a tree with hats. Farewell Broken Hill, I hope to see you out there on the road. Thanks for watching.